All right. Hey there. Homeless, homeless advocate Eric Jonathan Sheptuck coming at you. So it's March 21st, and as you can see, even though it's spring, it looks rather wintry here in Washington, D.C. Uh, and this is also the last day that any candidate who plans to run in the D.C. primaries for mayor or for several of the council seats must register. The primary is on June 19th, which is a black holiday. Uh, Juneteenth, it commemorates the day on which slavery officially ended in Texas in 1863. Uh, but as of this moment, I don't know Mayor Muriel Bowser to have any serious competition for the primary. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, in 2014, she won the Democratic primary, which is our de facto mayoral election because every mayor has been a Democrat since D.C. got home rule in 1973. Uh, but she won our de facto election, the, the Democratic primary in April 2014, with 42,000 votes out of a possible 380,000 Democratic voters in Washington, D.C. That's about 11% or no, one-ninth of her voter base for that particular election. Uh, and that speaks to the distrust and disinterest that people have in their local government here in Washington, D.C. So she's a default or a de facto dictator because she was able to take office with such a low percentage of the votes. I hope that doesn't prove to be the case this year and that I'm able to garner more interest in local politics. Uh, is, and, and uh, well, so let me see. Last I knew, some of her competition, which wasn't considered viable, serious competition, included uh, a homeless guy named Jeremiah Stanback, who I'm actually supporting for the for the primary. Uh, it also included a former U.S. Marshal who did a 10-year prison stint for manslaughter. It also includes a disbarred lawyer who cost his firm $650,000 in lawsuits, and it includes a university student. Um, but Anyway, this morning I learned that $16.6 .6 million from D.C. government's Housing Production Trust Fund was used between 2009 and 2014 to pay back uh, uh, federal grants that were mismanaged. So they were grants, they were free. You didn't have to pay them back, but because they were mismanaged, they had to be paid back. Uh, and so $16.6 .6 million of the Housing Production Trust Fund, which is supposed to create affordable housing for D.C. residents, was actually instead used to pay back free federal money. Uh, about a year ago, D.C. paid back a $15.8 million federal grant, the home grant from HUD, which was supposed to create affordable housing. So now we have about $32.4 million of grant money that was given back or, or money, local money that was used to pay back a grant because the grant was mismanaged. And so that's $32.4 million uh, of money that we've lost that could have been used to create thousands of years or year units uh, units times the number of years <laughs> of rent that but it wasn't used for that purpose uh, now to be fair most of this stuff happened before Bowser that the three year or the the federal grant from 2014 that was paid back in 2017 the first year of that grant was before her term. She took office in January of 2015, but two out of the three years was during her term. Uh, and, and so I can't really put everything on Muriel Bowser, 
she didn't necessarily create these problems, but she hasn't necessarily fixed them either. And audits in DC anyway are done four, five, six years after the time frame covered by those audits. So we always learn well after the fact about this and that problem. Uh, so in another five or six years, we'll be learning about the mismanagement of the Bowser administration. And that, of course, doesn't bid well for the voter because we won't be able to find out before the election about the mismanagement by the Bowser administration on some things anyway. But that said, I'm going to try to make a video every day throughout primary season from today, March 21st, 2018, until Juneteenth, primary day. And I hope to garner greater interest in local politics so that people don't just give dirty politicians run of the house simply by not voting. Because not voting doesn't guarantee that you won't get a politician that you don't like. It won't guarantee that you don't get a dirty politician who will do you wrong and who will misuse your tax dollars. So just walking away doesn't solve the problem. So I hope that more people get involved. See you tomorrow, hopefully. Thank you.